yes. Oh, I... That's it. We're getting the handle parts. Traders. We need traders. Oh, that is definitely more like it. I've now cured everyone in Whitechapel, and by everyone in Whitechapel, I mean Darius. Darius the Ungrateful. Although you could argue he has quite a lot of reason to be ungrateful, although I still say it's not my fault. And before I head off back into the West End, I really do want to make sure... Yeah, I've, I've got to give a headache cure to this young lady and perhaps speak to some other people. I want to get some more clues regarding Aloysius Dawson. Perhaps if I speak to everybody in the West End, I will get a better idea of what uh, sort of person he is. Obviously, uh, Lady Ashbury wants him, well, not turned and out of the picture, probably. I don't quite know how we're going to deal with that one, but before I do, I'm going to head back, he says, am I heading back? Yes, I am. Head back to the docks, because there are a lot of people who need to be cured there, and I would also like to go and speak to, what was her name? The, 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 the woman who turned into a scow with a big arm. I can't help but think she might well be uh, related to the actress. Get in weapons ready! Oh! Die, oh. Yeah. I can probably let them fight each other for a while and go around this way. There's usually a few. Oh, a few of them fight on this side as well. You know what? I don't want, I'm on the loot. I'm on the loot. Oh, I, I mean, I know, look, I was probably going to kill you anyway, but you could at least so, show some gratitude, you know? You survived a second or so longer because of me. Yes, you did. Was there any... Anything else? No. Right. Now I'm getting this urge to to go back and uh, loot those guys. We've got a bunch here. They're all over the place. You know what? Let's just... And how are they all doing around here? Still fighting. Okay. Jolly good. Oh, flamethrower. Really? Oh, I love this sword. I really do. And... Oh, no. Already got you. And... Got a little chain going here. You're supposed to focus on one at a time, usually, but you know what? Oh, oh that was a bit of a fail. All right, I need blood. Oh, I was hoping he'd be stunned. Yes, there you go. Bit of blood. Thank you very much. Oh, was that enough to get the regeneration going? No, it wasn't. Getting a little cocky there. Enjoying the sword more than is healthy, I think, would be a good way to describe this. Yes, indeed. I oh, got a little bit of loot. A little bit of loot. Actually, oh, okay. And I don't like these guys. And boom. Oh, got ya. And 
Oh, got you in the way as well, didn't I? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. The timing was a bit off there, wasn't it? Yeah, just a little bit. Oh, God. I really don't like those people. However, yeah, I, I really do enjoy the sword and... Oh, double hit! The sword and the stake together. Oh, God. The sword and the stake together. Really liking the mix. I'm going to increase my bite efficiency. Yes, I am. Oh, it's just, it's, it, I don't know if it is a better weapon than the heavier hitting ones, but it just, it feels so nice, and it, it just, all right, it's a sword, shush. All right, and, okay, there's no one down there. So, I have got a huge number of people in the docks to look for, including Digby, Kingsbury, Rufus, Cavendish, and Watts. Oh, God, I've got... Oh, those... Right, those are in the uh, bar. They should be pretty close by, I think. Do I have any more fighting to do before... I can't... I'm lost. Am I heading the right way? I think so. He says. I'm not... Does this lead to Digby's place? I think it does. That was Digby. Out of curiosity, is there anything else for me to find? Have I found everything? All the clues? It does look like it, doesn't it? Thought I had. I still have the occasional clue to pick up about these guys. Okay. Oh, and I should check with the you trader. Can. What do you want? Well, well, what is it with the whole the whole attitude? Right, I've got all the clues with you. Do you need medical help, sir? Yeah, I do. If you can throw in some drugs, I can find use for that too. You can have the medicine. So you can sell them on the black market. Sorry, I'll only provide you with exactly what you need. Fair enough, Doctor Reed. That cost me nothing to ask. No, that's that's true. Now, out of curiosity, was there anything else? See, sometimes it looks like there should be other things to say, but when I delve deep down into them, there's still nothing. It's goodbye, Mr. Dick. Kind of annoying. All right. And you're a trader, but I don't think you're ill. I don't Good think you're No, Ms. I know you're not ill. Hello again, Dr. Reed. So, what do you want? He says, checking, just in. What the hell was that sound? See, look, personal questions. <laughs> Trade, all right. Can I see what you have to sell? As long as you have money. I think we had two in here. Oh, was it just one? No, it was just one of them, wasn't it? Who was it? No, it was actually both of them. All right. Now, I actually want to go and see if I can upgrade any of these Welcome weapons. Welcome back, Doctor. What can I do for you? Uh, do I have all the details? I'm still missing a clue with you. I really am, and it's annoying me, and I didn't get a chance to spot that conversation you were having. Do you However, need any help? <coughs> Can't be good for business to see the bartender cough in your beer. Right, here you go. Indeed, it would be a shame to taint the delicate taste. Oh, thank you, Dr. Reed. I was being sarcastic there, wasn't I? Well, not we sarcastic, but yeah. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. I was definitely being a bit snarky about the quality of the beer, wasn't I? All right. You're still working at this hour. Offered a drink to them. That's what I call dedication. Yeah, right. Uh, oh, God, I got loads of clues to get for you. Loads of them. Before I do, though... Do you though, require medical assistance, Miss Cavendish? Don't feel so good if you have to know. I knew that keeping the bar open with the epidemic wasn't a good idea. Yeah, well, I've got you covered Take there. This. It'll help. Perhaps you should think about closing the turquoise turtle for a while. Tom always said we've got to keep the doors open. <clears throat> but thank you, Doctor. All right. Out of curiosity... No, still... Yeah. Hints required. Are you worried about the sanitary situation? Of course I am. Everywhere's deserted, houses, streets all empty. People buying guns. We hear them go off every night. It's bloody frightening. Yeah, I, I can't help but wonder... Goodbye, I, I, I can't help but wonder if this place would be better off without certain people. 
I actually suspect he is less bloodthirsty than her. But the problem is, is when you start doing this sort of thing, you do cause ripples that are hard to predict. I mean, it was pretty easy to predict that he was not having a good effect on uh, on anyone or anything. But um, her? Yeah, I can't help but feel she is a, a stabilizing influence. Okay, Stella Fishburn and Rufus. They were back in this direction. And I may call in my safe room as well, once I'm out of sight. I don't think people actually see me do this. I, am I stepping on something? Is this that what? Okay. No, I'm just getting very, very weirded out. Right, let's just take a look at what I can now upgrade. The only thing I've really got left to upgrade that I want to use is this remarkable saber. And unfortunately, I'm still two good handle parts away from being able to do it. It currently does quite a lot less damage than, say, Clay's hatchet. Although once it's upgraded, it won't be too far off. And yet, somehow, I'm really pre preferring it. I think... I think it's because the attack speed. No, the, the same attack speed? I don't know. Just, it's probably the coolness factor. Okay, very, very don't forget good. to keep an eye out for this garden. Something, sweetie. My guess is they're recruiting for some vengeance. In the meantime, the boys are waiting for our, well, for your orders. <laughs> How? Okay. Right. Yeah. It just, I prefer the, um, I prefer the sword. So. Could we ever get in there? No. He used to just hang around there, and by he, I mean, uh, the serial killer, Seymour. Where is Rufus? And, okay, he's there, and she's inside. Right. Can I stun it, do you think? Get up behind. Stun it. Boom. Hit him a couple of times and then. Foolish Econ. Yes, I'm a foolish Econ. Of course I am. But here's the thing, mate. I may be a foolish Econ. You are a dead bullcat. You see? Because I'm awesome and I got a sword. Oh, please don't fall on me. All right. Yes, I'm getting cocky. But I, I, I feel like I, I earned the right to that one. Okay. How am I getting out of here? I'm trying to get there. That's what I'm trying to get. I, I think the, the, the guy I'm looking for that's sick is in there. Probably should have gone all the way. Actually, no, you know what? I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just... Oh. <laughs> Right. Just fight our way through. It's simpler that way. It really is. Boom! And all the blood back. See, your friend's just standing there letting me hit you. Oh, no, he's not. He's running away. Whoa. No, he's not. He's trying to do that. Whoa, 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 whoa. I need to unlock from him. Can I get up there? How do I get up there? Wait, oh, no, he's come down. He's come down. He's come up. You know what? Oh, no. I was going to use my ultimate, but I don't have it. Come here. There you go. <laughs> oh, really? Got. That's what I want. Okay. Come on. Where's my loot? Oh. I know it doesn't always give me loot, but I always feel slightly robbed when it doesn't. Right, it was... What? what? Whoa! I wonder what the hell was going on. Why am I taking my sword out? Oh. Wait, no, no, I have my shield up. Didn't I? Oh no, I did not. I didn't. 
Now I do. Yep, shouldn't have done that, should you? Right. So, Volkov often get um, mistaken for... Oh, for, for werewolves, right? Out of curiosity, is there a relationship? Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Getting my backside handed to me. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah, getting cocky. Now, let's go and... Find the person who needs... There he is! Rodney. Rodney Grader. Rodney! Good evening, Mr. Grader. Are you sure nobody followed you here, Dr. Reed? Oh, come on, dude. Oh, out of curiosity, haven't we sorted... Jack's death affected you deeply. Yes, it did. The death of your friend has affected you deeply, hasn't it? Jack Gillingham was the real deal. He believed we could change the world if we were united and focused enough. And he brought out the best in each of us. Haven't we had... Oh, he was stupid to stand up alone. I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. It wasn't stupid. It's a little stupid, but to do it alone. But no, no, no. I'm... No, no, I'm not saying that. Uh, then... Do you need help, Mr. Grader? Death by disease or by bullet? Do I really have to choose? Uh, no, but, but I, I would choose... To be honest, why don't you just try to avoid both? Well, I have nothing to stop the bullets, but this should make you feel better. Everyone in the docks is now recovering. So, let's go down to the sewer area. Can I still get to the sewer area from here? And can I see any other clues? It was down there, wasn't it? I think it was. It was supposed to be a quick way. And that other door was locked. Uh, was it down here? Did it... Was there a... Where, no. Where, where, where was it? Where the hell was it? I came out somewhere. Yes, I did. Oh. Was it there? It's locked, all right. Was that... Was that how I got in here? From the sewers? Do I have to go all the way around again? Do I have to go all the way round? I possibly do. No, didn't it lead me out? Didn't it lead me out into a room near to him, actually? Oh, burnt letter. Miss Paxton, I recently heard that Hampton shelter for months and something money or support any kind. Without a positive answer from you, I may be something. My boys always get what they... Accept no for an answer. Keep on refusing to answer me. Wet boot boys, come for you and sister. Miss Paxton. Okay. All right. Lottie has always refused to help the wet boy. boy wait boot boys, despite their threats. Let's go and talk to Lottie Paxton. In a second. I, I, I'm just, here's the thing. It was there I came up, wasn't it? Was it that I came up? Or was it that I went in? I can't remember. I'm, I'm not totally remembering. Is there anything in there? No. Any other clues? No. All right. Sean is there. Where is... There's Giselle Paxton. Out of curiosity, where is your sister? I'm assuming it's your sister. Okay. Hi. You again. What do you want? I thought we'd cleared this up. We're, we're, aren't we, like, cool now? No. Apparently not. Lots of hints required. Do you have recent news of Sean Hampton Shelter? The place is all right, I suppose. The sad saint is still the same. Sad, you mean? Except for that awful skin disease he recently got. Isn't that looking a little better, though? Well, I'll leave you for now. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. Isn't it looking a tiny bit better? Ah, uh, uh, hello, 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 hello. 
Glad to see you again, Mr. Reed. Right. Okay. Your life in London. Personal questions. Tell me about the gang's threat. Yes. Lottie, tell me about the wet boot boys. I know they've threatened you. Edwina Cox wanted me to provide her with information about Mr. Hampton's resources. I refused. Is that not dangerous? Fuck them and their lies. They claim they protect the interests of the neighborhood, but they are just greedy parasites like all the rest. I praise your courage. Are you sure you're safe? You sound a bit reckless. No, I do. I praise your courage, although I do worry you about you a little. I respect your courage, Miss Paxton, and I hope life will never wear you down. Dr. Reed, <laughs> you know how to make a girl blush. I am glad you came to the docks, whatever your real reasons are. All uh, right. Um, do you think I should have a word with... Miss Cox. Mrs. Goodbye, Cox. Cox. Widow Cox. Maybe. Do you know what? It's been a while since we spoke. Yes, Doctor? Ooh, you are still looking pretty crap. Yep, you are. Harriet Jones! Have you seen Harriet Jones since taking her to Old Harriet? Street? No. She is with the sewer scales now. I don't go downstairs. All right, okay, okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. And Farewell, Sean. Take good care of your flock, and of yourself. All right, let's... Was it, was it back there? We need to find out what's going on with Harriet. Was it down here? Please tell me it was down here and I don't have to go. There's a book there. Ah, this, this looks like it. Yes, yes. Aha. All right. District stable. Where was she? Hello, hello, is that her? That looks like her. Hi. Have you found the answers you were looking for, young Ekon? There is too much left unanswered. So many questions. Get to know us, spend time with us, and I may be willing to answer more questions. Um, well, I've, I've sort of, oh, okay. Could, I, haven't you already told me about Harriet? You've already told me about her, haven't you? What manner of creature is Harriet? She is different. Thank you, old Bridget. Yeah, so nothing I new. Hope we'll nothing again. new there. All right. Nothing new there. What about Harriet herself? Can I remember where the hell she was? Possibly, possibly not. Maybe I need to actually look around more. Okay, unknown. You're an unknown. Keep your distance, Echo. All right, okay. Oh, Harriet. There she is, downstairs. Okay. So, Harriet, how's it going? Let me rest now. Okay, so nothing new from you. Um, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm more than a little convinced that uh, she's going to uh, be a major part of whatever the hell is going on. I didn't really get much useful information in this little side trek but I've managed to get all of the other districts what the hell are they okay turn around sir no I, I did it sounded like it sounded like a um I was going to say a real person, but that would be an awful. That would be an awful thing to say, wouldn't it? What was I saying? Yep, oh, you're gone. So, yeah, no new information, but everyone is now recovering in all of the districts, except... For one person... 
Was that something to pick up? No. One person in the West End. And the West End is where I'm going anyway. I've got myself completely turned around. Uh, yeah, no, I need to go this way. That's the young lady I saved in the sewers. I need to cure her. Do I even need to fight you? I don't think I do. And then, I really want to check around more carefully and see if there's anyone I've missed. There are a few people left for me to talk to. Of course, they could be near the, um, the pillar himself. These three could have a relationship with Aloysius Dawson. And that's where I'm heading once I've got all the information I need. I really do think I want to speak to everybody. Just speak to everyone and ask what they think of this main man. Right, this is the wife of my friend, is it not? No, actually, this is a door to a house. Hello, but Venus. Behind Hello, the door. Please come in. Right. I'm Let's... so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. That's okay. Right. What do you need from me, Jonathan? I. Oh. Ah! I do have other. Okay, good. Brilliant. Let's just quickly check these. So. I can pump everybody for information. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? I never met the man. I know Clarence tried to contact him recently, but I don't know why. Interesting. Why would Clarence try to Goodbye, contact Fondant. him? I should definitely talk to Clarence. I remember when Mary came here with I'm her going... husband and her son. Mary had a son. A... Um, I have a nephew. Clarence! Clarence! Friend of mine, old... It could be someone... Buddy! Good evening, old chap. Are you all right? I won't lie to you, Johnny. I'm not a well man. Oh, are you not? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, you are. You're fine. You're fine. The financial situation. We'll talk about that in a second. All right, yeah, right. Tell me about your financial situation. Do you realize you are ruining your family, Clarence? Oh, it, haven't we? Don't you see the risk here? Money isn't important. We've had this conversation. It's not important when it is a matter of life and death. Right. That is what my dear Venus cannot understand. Probably because she doesn't want it. People will laugh at you. Uh, he doesn't care. That will get him mad. Your financial situ... No. Do you know Aloysius Dawson? What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? Well, I've discovered he's quite versed in occult knowledge. So I wrote him a letter asking him to finance my research about vampires. He never responded. Yeah. You need some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep. Okay. I'm going to guess that you might have a strong Good evening, Miss Ashbury. And opinion. good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Yes. What do you know about Aloysius Dawson? That man is a tyrant. The embodiment of greed and selfishness. All I despise about this country. Right, so don't make him a mortal. Goodbye, mortal-em. Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother, Dude. when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few yeah, nights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will see her before you. I suspect you. you may see her before me. Right. Nobody takes him seriously. Louise! Louise! Hello! I was actually Good looking evening, for you. Mr. Teasdale. How have you been since you returned home? Dr. Reed. Oh, thank God you returned safely from these awful streets. I was so worried about my father that I left without thanking you properly. Please don't mention it, miss. Good. I found him, you know. My dad. Or what was left of him. I think my abductor intended to do the same thing to me. I'm not totally sure about that, but let's have a look. You have a headache. I do can you fix need that. my medical attention, miss. I don't need your help specifically. I can assure you there are many competent doctors around. Right, but I've got medicine. And I'm a doctor. Would you I have no doubt about it. Are you suggesting I'm not competent? But I'm offering you my help anyway. Alright then. But please leave me alone for now. No, 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 no. No, I'm afraid I am not going to do that. I I am a, a nosy doctor. Yes, indeed. What do you do for a living, Miss Teasdale? Before my kidnapping, 
I was a waitress in a pub. Now I'm unemployed. Were you fired? No. It's just that after my recent experience, I don't feel like I can go back to my normal life. I need to do something useful. And what is your plan? What do you intend to do? Dad always told me, Louise, <sighs> Please if you want about something, don't stop until you have it. I did my research and I found it. Ichabod Frogmorton, professional oh, vampire no, hunter. No, no. I'll be his apprentice. No, no, just re no. Be very careful, Miss Teasdale. You were lucky to escape death once, but vampires lurk everywhere. You killed my kidnapper by yourself, didn't you? No offense, Doctor, but you're just a doctor. I don't see why I couldn't do the same. Because I'm a bloody vampire. Did you not see what I was doing? Re see, really? I figured you must have known and seen it and thought, all right. What can you tell me about this area? I've never really liked this part of town. It was where my father wanted to live. I won't remain here much longer. What exactly don't you like about it? People here are contemptuous and elitist. My dad always said, Louise, always treat people like you want them to treat you. Yeah, she doesn't have the, uh, the right accent for this neighborhood. Personal questions. Right. You seem to cherish your father a great deal. Dad was the best. He kept an eye on me, but let me make my own mistakes. Louise, he used to say, mistakes are the best teacher. You would have liked him. I'm sorry you didn't have the opportunity to say goodbye. That's all right. He's buried in consecrated ground now. Nothing bad can happen to him. Right, 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 right. It's like mistakes are a great teacher unless those mistakes are fatal. This is this is the problem with that way of thinking. Is, oh, where's? I don't want to say goodbye. You had a. There was another option for. Louise, tell me what you really think about your father's sacrifice to save you. I'm proud he went after me. I forgive him all his harsh words, all his bloody attitudes. I only wish I could tell him how much I loved him. Yes. It can be traumatic not having the chance to say goodbye to those we love. Yes, Doctor. And there's no treatment for that type of pain, isn't that right? Time. That may be the last thing my father taught me. Time. Okay, so... Oh no, right, Th that's not a true goodbye. Do you know this guy? Yeah. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? Never heard of him. Really? He's very well known in London, throughout the country even. Are he a big shot or something? Never interested in politics myself. All words and no action. That is not always true, unfortunately. You might want to pay Goodbye, more attention. And be careful. Until we meet again. Is there a heat shimmer? Or is that... Good, good. Okay, that's a bit freaky. Right, our... Hello? Good evening, Dr. Reed. A great night, what? Yeah, uh, ooh. About the restaurant, have you tried it? So, did you try the restaurant I recommended? Oh, yes, I can't thank you enough, my dear doctor. Exquisite, but expensive. But what is money made for, if not for little pleasure? Uh, your money could be more usefully spent, you disgusting pig. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, your money could be spent more use usefully spent, you know. I mean, I'm glad you enjoyed it, but, uh, I mean, it could. Don't you think your money could be better spent in these difficult times? Your words hurt, Doctor. I thought you and I were friends. But since you ask, I'm rich enough to finance my passions. And various charities across the city. Well, that's hmm. good. Ooh, perhaps my words were too harsh. Please forgive me if I've upset you. Oh, no harm done. After I die, all my fortune will go to the suffering people of the East End. Until then, I aspire to live the most pleasant life possible. That's good, but didn't you just essentially give someone a really good reason to, uh, you know, off you? Right, so he gives money and is involved with charities. He doesn't consider the seriousness of the epidemic. Right, yeah. Still one hint with you, isn't there? Hmm. Trade. I need handle parts. Let's... I may have a look at your goods, Mr. Russell. Do you have the handle part? You've got tiny good, and this is what I needed 
two of these. Oh, do I, am I out of money? All right, right, what can I sell you? I have got tons and tons of some components and I can sell a lot of them. However, but before you go, we do have one. Good evening, Dr. Reed. A great night, what? Yes, okay. Do you know anything about a man called Aloysius Dawson? He used to be a big spender. One day, he sent three houseboys to buy all the beluga in my shop. For his brother's birthday, if I remember correctly. I see. Anything else? Less gastronomic, perhaps? I really can't say. The man is filthy rich. But you know that, of course. Yes, all right. Goodbye, Mr. Russell. I'm sure you'll take care of yourself. I'm sure he will as well. So, who else is there to speak to? Kimura Tada, where? Where are all of these people? There's, there's a lot of people around. I remember saving somebody with that name. But I don't remember where I actually spotted. Okay, it might not be there. Usually these people can be found in places where... Could it be over here somewhere? It's probably over in that area, isn't it? I, I, I've got some... Some people to see further up north. Oh, there's the rat woman. There is the rat woman around here. I can't remember her name. A bit rude calling her the rat woman. But is that it? Yes. Why does rats. that tasty rats? Those clever rodents are cautious now. Oh, they won't approach. Uh, yeah. Do we know anything new for you? No, we don't. I need to find information about Aloysius Dawson. What can you tell me about him? Don't trust him. He's looking for the same thing I was. Uh, rats? Uh, no, uh, not rats. Immortality. Something else. I don't remember. You were looking for immortality, my dear, I believe. I must you go now. Goodbye, Miss Billow. Have probably come into contact with a vampire. And he left you with an odd craving. Perhaps he charmed you, mesmerized you. And now you're doing his bidding. But it's a theory anyway. I mean, I'm not saying it's absolutely the truth. All right. Temple garden. Was there anybody in this neighborhood? Was this one of the buildings I was inspecting earlier for? Clues. I think this was. This is one of the places I was investigating. Yes. There is rather a lot of blood. On him. Oh god. Oh. Wait, 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 what happened? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Get out of there. Got the shield back up and got him. And what? Oh, sometimes. Oh god, right. Dodging whilst locked on is actually a bit of a pain in the backside, but hitting things with oh This is really aggravating. Oh! Okay. Bang! Got you! This is a tough one. This is really, a really tough one. Oh, 
I wasn't locked on. See, that's when I need to lock on. Right there. Come on. But then when I dodge, I need to be not locked. Because it really makes aiming a little... Bang! Fell for it. Got ya. And my ultimate is almost ready. Whoa, look at the bloody... Okay. Come on. Get him! Do I need to switch to... Maybe I do. Maybe I, maybe I should just... Okay. Well, that worked. 